Laura, good morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here with us today. Uh, it's always a real pleasure for us to hear patients tell their story and their experience and kind of what they've what they've been through and how they're doing as they've gone through treatment. So we, we really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Good. Um, so first question, um, just give us some information on why you chose to go through this orthodontic treatment as an adult. Um, just give us your perspective, where you were, where you are, and, and what's going on. Okay, great. Well, I kind of came to this in a roundabout way. Um, it all started about seven years ago when my second baby was born and uh, we were having difficulty breastfeeding and we found out that she had a posterior tongue tie. Mm -hmm. um, and as a speech language pathologist, I had really never heard of that and I thought, why haven't I heard of this? Right. I, I work in the mouth all the time. Um, and so that kind of sent me down the rabbit hole of learning everything I could possibly learn about tongue ties and how they affect feeding in babies which then led me down the rabbit hole of, oh, this is, might also be what my problem is because maybe I had uh, have a tongue tie that I didn't know about. My mom always said that, you know, I had difficulty breastfeeding when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. um, um, so I started taking um, continuing education courses and learning as much as I can. And uh, at my myofunctional therapy course where I learned how to do my functional therapy. Um, the instructors looked into each of our mouths and um, went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> what you want to hear. <laughs> you have a really small mouth and a really high palate. Mm -hmm. And then looked under my tongue and, yeah, you have a posterior tongue tie. You might want to seek out an airway-centric dentist that can help you with that. And I thought, okay, I need to start looking into that. Um, so she, I Googled it and I found you. Yeah, she verified your suspicions. Yes, I know. I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. I, this is what's going on. Um, it wasn't really about symptoms for me at first because I really didn't know that I, I thought whatever I was going through was normal. You sure. know, I'm 40, I'm getting older. You know, this is just how life is. It's gonna, I'm just gonna feel like this for the rest of my life. Right. Um, but then when I found you and all the information that I had gained up until that point and came here, I realized all the things that I'd been experiencing weren't normal. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was very much motivated not to feel this way for the next 40 years or more if, if I'm blessed with that. Yeah, it's wild how we kind of, we all grow in, we all kind of ease into our own normal and yeah. there is this cultural expectation that, well, you're getting older and things are going to hurt and hope you like ibuprofen um, but yeah you're you make a good point a lot of those things don't have to actually be part of life yes and now that I don't have a lot of those things going on in my life I feel so much better fantastic so Laura as a speech and language pathologist um, you have a very unique knowledge set with this stuff um, and you also have a more unique perspective because you're going through treatment at the same time so if you will, tell us a little bit about your experience in going through the myofunctional therapy and what changes you've noticed relative to any pain symptoms, uh, your ability to breathe. Um, is your sleep quality changed at all as you've gone through this process? Um, just touch on those things for us, if you will. Sure. Well, I took the myofunctional therapy course myself well before I ever started treatment. Sure. Um, so it was a concept I was familiar with. Um, and had used to help others, specifically children. Um, but once I started going through the treatment myself, it just became so much more clear to me um, how it actually works and how it helps to change the posture of your tongue and how the posture of your tongue has so much to do with your comfort level, headaches, you know, whether you're breathing well at night. Um, I, through the sleep study you guys did with me here, uh, I found out that I had um, severe sleep apnea, so um, that was something that hadn't been on my radar before. All of a sudden I'm realizing, oh yeah, I'm waking up and my, my tongue is down in the bottom of my mouth and not in the top of my mouth, mm -hmm. and just being very aware of where my tongue is. Um, so um, being able to do the myofunctional therapy with your therapist online to coach me through it, even though I knew what I was doing, right. yeah. Um, just was a completely different perspective and helped me see so much 
how it can actually change what's going on functionally in your mouth and change your quality of life. Um, so for me, I started sleeping better. Um, I started not having that pain in my jaws when I woke up in the morning. The t tension through here mm -hmm. when you I, woke I'm up. A, I was a clincher. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I would always wake up just with this achy feeling here, um, and headaches usually in the morning, feeling mm -hmm. very, very tired, even though I'd had a good eight hours of sleep, just feeling like I don't even want to get out of bed. Right. Difficult to wake up in the morning. Um, so that all changed to now I have energy when I wake up. I don't feel sore in the morning in my jaws when I wake up. Um, I just feel more like myself. And I feel like I can, I have more energy. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've heard a lot of patients talk about that aspect of it um, and that you're a mother and you want to have energy, emotional and, and, and intellectual and devotion of energy to your kids, Absolutely. no matter what age they are. And it's, it's a really powerful thing when I hear patients talk about how getting the sleep quality improved and getting rid of some of the discomfort doesn't there's more to it than just getting rid of the pain it's like it's it's adding so much to your life and i've experienced the same thing uh going through the treatment as well yeah it's definitely been life-changing um i don't i can't even put into words how different i feel um but i've actually gotten back into other healthy habits in my life because i want to not because i feel like i need to but i yeah. have the, i have the drive to do that that's wonderful so, yeah that, it always it's always wonderful for me to hear this when we do these little interviews because I don't you know usually I see you and you're in the dental chair and we're mm -hmm. we're 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 getting down to business so um, it's 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 very rewarding for me to hear that this is having such a great impact on your life we're yeah. really happy for you thank you so Laura thank you for everything you've shared today um, and again you have a very unique uh, knowledge and perspective on this so anything else you'd like to share um, about your experience I would say the number one thing that I've learned through this whole experience is that um, it's very important to catch these kind of things early on in life but if sure. you but if you don't you shouldn't lose hope there's still a chance to fix it and have a better quality of life um, so now that I know what I know and knowing what I'm going through in my 40s, um, I'm hopeful that my children won't have to go through that. So I've already started with my nine-year-old, mm -hmm. who I suspect had a tongue tie that I, that I wasn't able to breastfeed her. I had to pump. Um, mm -hmm. She never could latch. So that was definitely been on my ra radar ever since I learned about this. So I decided to ask if I could bring her in for you to do an assessment of her oral development, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of get a head start on that before she even has to go into orthodontics one day to see if there's anything we can do to, to start growing that palate um, before the bones are set in stone. Yeah, get out, get out in front of the problem before Absolutely. it happens. Absolutely. Yeah. I, just, I just hope that for everybody, that they can find it early, but if they can't, that they can know that they have somebody to turn to yeah, that can help there's, there's options later on mm -hmm. yeah laura thank you very much uh, for taking the time and coming and talk to, talking to us today we really appreciate it and thank you for having me